Well, here's the yom yom for today. Yom yom for today. If you remember that uh, yesterday we learned, actually two days ago we learned that Rabbi Zusha of Anipoli, that he was a good friend of the first Rebbe of Chabad, one of the pupils of the Magid of Mezrich, that he um, <clears throat> he uh, divided the word tshuva, returning to God, into five different aspects. Because he said it was too hard, just to too difficult to actually return totally to the creator of the universe. So he brought, uh, the, he articulated it into five different uh, aspects of tshuva, which correspond to the five levels, five letters of the word tshuva. And we learned yesterday the first letter of tshuva is tough, and the second is shin, and the third is vav, and the fourth is base. And the last one is hey. So yesterday we did the tough, which was tamim tm Hashem alakacha, that you have to be sincere and um, um, how do you say earnest with God. That was yesterday tamim tm Hashem alakacha. Today shiviti, shiviti. You should put God before you always. I have I have said God in front of me always. It's King David said it in Psalms, Book of Psalms, was Psalm sixteen. Okay, so it says I have put God. Before me always. This name of God indicates that God creates the world. The name of God, there's a letter, hey, vav, hey, in this name. And hey, vav, hey means hovet, to be. So God creates everything. So this is talking about, this is talking about an aspect of tshuva, of returning to God, right? <clears throat> Which means thinking about how God is creating the whole world constantly. This name of God brings all of creation into being. And, sustain, and sustaining it. It brings it into creation constantly. So me and you and everything and the whole world is constantly being created by God. Now, God is <clears throat> infinitely distant from the world. God existed before the world. He creates time. He creates a uh, place. He creates limits. He creates the angels. He creates the spiritual. It's all created for God to, so to speak, jump from his infinite reality to this finite created reality, that's a big jump. So God jumps from what's called ayan, from nothing, into yesh, into being. And this is done constantly. This is, this type of tshuva, of, you want to call it repentance, turning to God, is, repentance is not a good word, because repentance implies that you're turning from bad. And here he's talking about tshuva is not turning from bad. Unless you want to redefine bad. Bad, if you define it as anything that's not revealing God. <clears throat> like, for instance, you live in a house in, in Israel, right? You live in Kfar Chabad. Well, compared to the Holy Temple, that house is called bad. A new definition of bad. So if you want to define bad in that way, so that means turning from bad. But generally speaking, the word repentance means that you did bad things, and now you want to repent for that. And that's not what he's talking about here. Here he's talking about you did good things, but you want it to you want it to be infinitely better. You want it to be instead of doing good things with yourself in mind, you want to do good things only with the Creator in mind. It's therefore one of the ways of doing it is by being simple and earnest, like we learned yesterday. That's tummy. Another way is thinking constantly that everything in the world is being created from nothing by God himself, putting God in front of you always.